I'm going to be demonstrating the Synthesizers.com State Variable Filter Q107. I have a straight sawtooth wave from a Synthesizers.com oscillator going into the signal input. I have the output uh, going to a Synthesizers.com amplifier controlled by a Synthesizers.com envelope generator. First of all, we're going to listen to the frequency cutoff point. This is the low pass output. This is the notch output. This is the band pass output. This is the high pass output. Here are the same outputs with the resonance up. That was the low, pot, low pass output. Here is the notch output. Here's the band pass output. Here's the high pass output. Next, we are going to control the frequency cutoff point using a synthesizers.com envelope generator. Of course, we can we have polarity control, so we can uh, control the cutoff point with the envelope generator. Uh, in a positive direction or a negative direction. Here's what the notch output sounds like with the envelope generator controlling the filter cutoff point. Not as much effect. The bandpass output. Now the high pass output. we can also use a synthesizers.com oscillator to control the filter cutoff point.
That was a sine wave controlling the filter cutoff point, and of course you could use any wave that you saw fit to do so. You can also use the control voltage from the keyboard to control the cutoff point of the filter. Uh, this generates the standard keyboard effect where it, the notes are darker on the low end and brighter on the high end as the filter is controlled by the voltages coming off the keys. <laughs> We can also use control voltage to affect We can also use a synthesizers.com oscillator to control the resonance amount. it's polarized so that you have the positive and the negative so you can control whether the waveform is positive or negative or an output from an envelope generator you can control whether you have the positive envelope or the negative envelope. You have a signal input where you can take even another oscillator and patch that in and control the amount, the level of that second oscillator. And that is basically the state variable filter. Of course, many more things can be done with it, but this is just a basic outline.